Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about Ahu Krasik algorithm, which is a very useful algorithm when string matching. First, I'm going to give you a short introduction about the algorithm. After that, I will discuss the steps of the algorithm. You already know that an algorithm is a finite set of well-defined instructions, which is suitable for solving a computational task. So, I think you will understand the algorithm easily by discussing the steps. After that, I will explain the algorithm by using it for solving a simple problem. Then I am expecting to discuss about uses and drawbacks of the algorithm. So, let's start. As I have told you before, this is a string matching algorithm. More accurately, it is a multi-pattern matching algorithm. You maybe know that there are some algorithms like Rabin Karp, Not More Spread for string matching. In that two algorithms, we can check only one pattern at a time. But in this algorithm, we can check multiple patterns simultaneously. This algorithm was invented by Alfred V. Aho, who is a Canadian computer scientist and Margaret J. Korasik, also a computer scientist. Time complexity of this algorithm is big O of n plus m plus z. n is the length of the string. m is the number of characters of all the patterns z is the number of occurrences. There are two main steps in this algorithm. They are preprocessing phase, in other words, creating the automaton. The second step, searching phase, which is the searching procedure. For deep understanding the steps, I will take a simple example. Suppose we have a couple of patterns like this and we have given a string like this. So the patterns are A, A, G, B, C, A, T, T, A, K, E. The string is this. So we are going to use Aho Korasik algorithm to solve this problem. As I have already mentioned, first step is creating the automata. For that, first we need to create a try. That means we should create a tree which holds the characters of the patterns as such. Like this. This is the root node and we name that node as 0. We take the first pattern AAG. Now we are creating the try like this. First, after that, um, we initiate a node like this, and the edge is A. The other node is 2, and the edge is A, and the other node is 3 and the edge is G. Then after that, we get the second pattern B. Uh, so this is a new pattern. Uh, v. So we start initiating that pattern from the root node. So uh, this is 3 and this is 4 node. The edge is B. After that, we take CAT. So as I have all dimensioned, CAT is a new pattern. So we start the constructing of that pattern from the root node. Then C, the fifth node. A, the sixth node. And D, the seventh node. And we take the last pattern. And we create a tri. 
like this T A K and E like that we can create the try easily so The second step of the first step is extend the try to the automata. So how we do this? Before that, I have to draw your attention to these nodes 3, 4, 7 and 11. So these nodes are we called word nodes. That means the end of the words. You will see that later uh, when we reach the this node we take th that as a success so we are extend our try to the automaton by adding failure links so the question is how to add failure links so we add failure links in a way that we can get get uh, the maximum suffix uh, let's take an example so uh, first we get the root node and then uh, the failure link of the root node is this always you will you will see soon why we create the failure link of the root node like this so if we take the node 1, uh, the node 1 ends with A, so uh, we are checking the node which ends with A. So there is a node with here, here and here. So what is the node which we can get the maximum suffix? this node right so we connect one node 1 and node 9 with the failure links so like that we connect 2 and 9 let's take, take this node so this is a word node so it end with it ends with G so there are no no nodes ends with G. So that node connected by failure link to the root node. So 4 node is same and the node number 5, 6. See in here node 6 ends with A and by connecting these two nodes we can get maximum suffix right here here node number 7 ends with t and there is a t here and we can get maximum suffix a k e so we connect these two nodes by failure link like that uh, but if we take this node there are no other node uh, that connect with this node to get maximum suffix so we connect this node with the root node by failure link so that manner uh, we can create failure link from from every node like this so in that way we can create our automata by extending our tree using failure links so the step number two the searching phase so now we have our automaton and the patterns and the string so we first we start with the root node and the first letter of our string so we check there is there is a, a children which ma match to this character k 
So we can see that there isn't a character. So we we considering failure failure link. So in that way uh, we know that the failure link of the root node is itself. So then by follow if we follow the failure link we have the same destination. So if we have uh, same destination by following failure link then we should move to the next character then G so uh, then we check there is a chil children so there isn't so we follow the failure link and the result is this so after that we check in the next character A so there is a children So we move to that direction. So after that, we check the next character A. From here, see uh, there is a another child node we can follow. So we are moving to the right direction. So we are we check the other character. Oh, finally. We reach the word node. That means we have found a node. We have found a word. Uh, more accurately, a pattern. So we found the AAG. So I mark it in here. So after that, we check for the next character. Oh, what happened? Means there is no children for this node. In, in that kind of case, we follow the failure link. So, the failure link of this node is going to the root. So, we are going to the root and check there is a, we can, uh, if there is a way, we can move. So, we go to the root node and check. See, there is a T in here. So, we move to that direction. Then, we go to the next character and that way we move along that this branch and K we move that way and E so after that as I have already mentioned we have reached to the word node that means we have found a pattern over word so, after that, we move to the next character, S. Yes, there is no child for this node. So, we follow the failure link and see whether there is a uh, matching direction. So, there isn't. So, we follow the failure link and the failure link of root node is uh, connected to itself. So, the destination is same. So in that manner, we can match the multiple string. So we have checked all characters of the given string. So uh, that is a simple implementation of the algorithm. So the uses of Ahokarasic algorithm. So. Mm -hmm. As I have already mentioned before, this is a string matching algorithm. So, uh, security has become an issue while dealing um, with computers and networks. We know uh, if we dealing with a network, hackers and painted theaters uh, will try to uh, get unauthorized access. So there are a couple of ways to increase the security of the network such as v using VPN and firewall but there is a system named institution detection system by using this method we are able to find the kind of attack which is being done on the network or host 
on the basic of collecting information regarding known attacks. So intruders have signatures. We can detect them using a software. On that software, we are using this algorithm to detect particular words in the database. So that's about intrusion detection, detecting plagiarism. Plagiarism detection is a process of finding plagiarism within a network or document. Plagiarism is the act of copying the idea of someone else representing that as our thought. So we can use this algorithm to com compare two documents. Like that, we have so many uses of this algorithm like bioinformatics, uh, digital forensics and text mining. So, uh, there is also a drawback of this algorithm. That is, it takes more time and space when size of automata increases. So, as we so early, uh, it, it depends on the automata, right? So, the automata increases, the complexity of the algorithm will increase. Uh, so, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.